Welcome everyone to the closing session of CB Grappi 2021. We have divided this session into three parts. The first part will, uh, will cover the awards for the various tracks we have in the conference. Then the general shares will present some comments about this year's conference. And finally, we will have an invitation for CB Grappi 2022. To start the awards session, I'd like to invite Professor João Paulo Papa, one of the chairs of the workshop of thesis and dis dissertations, to announce the awards. Oh, thank you, Falcon, Professor Falcon. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, the invitation to to co-chair the, the workshop of thesis and dissertations with Professor Apolina. I'd like to thank the, the general committee um, and also all papers submitted by the authors. So uh, this year we 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 had 22 submissions, more or less 50-50 between masters and PhDs. Uh, it was kind of tough to 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 decide to elect the winner, uh, but now we are in the in the moment. So uh, let's let's do it. The next slide, please. So we're gonna start with the best dissertation award. Uh, the Oscar goes to the synthesizer who released human dance motions conditioned by musical graph reports. Uh, from the, the work from João Ferreira, Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais, Renato Martins from India, e Erickson Nascimento from uh, Federal University of Minas Gerais. Congratulations, very good work. Uh, for the PhD thesis, we have, it was a little bit tougher to, to find the words, but we decided to first give a honorable mention to the advances in subspace, subspace learning and its applications. Uh, it's a PhD work from Bernardo, Kazushiro Fukui from the University of Tuxuba, Valdir from the University of Amazonas, and Eulanda from the University of Amazonas. Congratulations. Um, and also, uh, the one of the most important things is uh, the PhD thesis. We had actually, we decided to, to award two works. Actually, they were, was very tough to, to elect the best one. So we decided to award two. So, uh, and the Oscar goes to uh next slide please so on periodic tillings with regular polygons uh the work from uh, jose Ezequiel soto sanchez for nimpa asla from fgv luis Henrique de figueredo for nimpa as well congratulations uh and the other work is unsupervised brain anomaly detection in mr images uh from samuel uh university of campinas alexandre talea utrecht university and professor falcon once again uh, congratulations for all these works. Very good works, actually. All works that were submitted, they were very good. Thank you for all your submissions. And now I invite Professor Thiago to the stage to present the workshop and undergraduate works awards. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Papa. Um, I would like to start uh, thanking for the invitation, for being one of these, uh, the chairs of this workshop together with Professor Paulo. And uh, the aim of this workshop, I don't know if you know already, but uh, is to motivate undergrad students to uh, engage on research. So please motivate your students to submit works uh, to the workshop. And uh, we decided to present, uh, to give one honorable mention to the work entitled Comparative Study of Text Document Representations Approach Using Point Placement Based Visualization, uh, authored by the student Evelyn and uh, uh, coordinated by the professor uh, Vinicius. So please, next slide. Uh, and the best work was for the work entitled Class Classificando modo, é, modelos de implantes dentários usando redes neurais convolucionais com dados sintetizados. Authored by the student uh, Henrique Lozada and coordinated by the uh, professor Maria Paula. Uh, I would like to call the next uh, professor, Tiago, to present the next workshop. Thank you, Professor Chago. Uh, we would like to thank uh, for the invitation for being chairs of the workshop of works in progress from CDGRAP 2021. Uh, the workshop of works in progress received 
12 submissions and a set of eight high quality articles reporting ongoing studies in image processing, computer graphics, and pattern recognition areas. Thus, uh, we are happy to announce not one, but two feature papers in the workshop of uh, Works in Progress. Next slide, please. So the honorable mention award uh, for the workshop of Works in Progress goes to the paper entitled Segment and Graph uh, Generation of Muzzle Images for Cattle Identification by Lucas uh, Wojcik, Jorge Jr. and David Menotti from the Federal University of Paraná and João Hill from the Institute of Rural Development of Paraná. Congratulations to all the awarded authors. And the best paper award for the workshop of works in progress goes to the paper entitled Path Spotter Search, a content-based image retrieval tool for nephropathology by Ellen Aguiar and uh, Rodrigo Calumbi from the Federal University of Feira de Santana. Luciano Oliveira from the Federal University of Bahia, Washington dos Santos from the uh, Fundação Oswaldo Cruz, and Angelo Duarte from the Federal University of Feira de Santana. Once again, uh, congratulations to all the award awarded authors. Now, uh, professors Afonso Paiva and David Menotti will announce the awards for the main track papers. Well, thank you, Thiago. Well, now is the, the moment for the main track. We are divided into two kinds of prize and so awards. Uh, I will announce the first one. Okay, next slide, please. Well, uh, we have uh, the best papers on pattern recognition related fields. These papers uh, were invited for uh, an uh, extended version to be published in, the, in a special issue of the uh, pattern recognition letters. We have an extended paper submission deadline for January uh, 31 on 2022. And the final decision is in, on April, 1st April, okay? Well, uh, we have to decide among three papers. We had a, a little bit tired at the top and so, uh, but the, for the, the, to choice the first or to choose the first two, three papers, it was easy, and we did not uh, we didn't uh, uh, made a, a, a differentiation among the, these three papers because they had to be the best papers to be invited for the special issue of pattern recognition letter. Well, let's go for the first uh, prize, the first award. This next slide. And, uh, the first one is conformal layer, a nonlinear sequential neural network with association, associative layers from uh, Federal University of uh, Fluminense, uh, Eduardo Vera Souza, Leandro Fernandes, and Cristina Nader Vasconcelos. Well, congratulations. Well, the second one uh, goes for uh, goes to uh, Federal University of Minas Gerais, musical hyperlapse a multimodal approach to accelerate first-person videos uh, to Jogne de Matos, Washington Ramos, Luis Romagnol, and Erickson Nascimento. Congratulations, a very good work, very interesting. The presentative the, was very good. Well, the last one uh, is a descriptive image gra gradient from edge weighted image graph and random forest for um, Raquel Almeida, Puc Minas, Zé Newton, Puc Minas, Arnaldo Araújo, Federal University of Minas Gerais, Elwa Kivak, uh, University, University de Rennes, uh, Simon Malinowski, also from the uh, University de Rennes, and finally, Professor Silvio Jamil Guimarães, Puc Minas. Congratulations. Well, Afonso. Hi, folks. First of all, on behalf of Program Chairs, I would like to thank all the submitters for the main track of CBGRAP 2021. I'm so glad to announce the best papers of computer graphics and visualization. Uh, now, uh, the honorable mention, I announced the honorable mention. <coughs> Next slide, please. The honorable mention goes to Drift, a visual analytic tool for scientific literature exploration based on contextual and image content. The authors are Ximena Poco, 
Jorge Pouco, Matheus Viana, Rogério de Paula, Luiz Gustavo Nonato e Eric Gomes. Congratulations for the, for the authors. Now, the best paper goes to optimize 2D ball trees. The authors are Luiz Carlos dos Santos and Claudio Esperanças. Congratulations to the authors again. Now, I'll pass the word for the general chairs, Eduardo Gastal and Marcelo Volta. Okay, hello everyone and good afternoon. Hello uh, everyone. So it's first, uh, I'm going to say it was a pleasure working with Marcelo for the last few years. We we're thinking about Sibigarapi, I think since 2018, I think. So yeah. it was a pleasure. Um, it was a pleasure also working with our program chairs, Afonso and Davi and Vladimir and, and Hugo. Uh, so I think we can go to the next slide. So first, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the event of this year. Uh, so we had a virtually co-located event with SB Games and SVR, which are the, the, the events for, for games and uh, VR, virtual re reality and augmented reality. So we had a shared uh, virtual space on uh, on YouTube and also on the Discord uh, server, which I'll be talking next. So next slide, please. So this year we had something new. We had a five-day program for the event, and this allowed us to have less overlap uh, between session times. So in that way, we can get more people to 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 watch the presentations in real time. So. Unfortunately, we're not able to, to have all sessions with an exclusive time slot. So we had a few tutorials on the first day and also a tutorial and a workshop of industry applications on the last day in parallel. Uh, and on the afternoon of the first day, we also had the, the WVs workshop and the second part of a tutorial. But for the technical sessions, we had all technical sessions uh, with an exclusive time slot and we had a lot of participation from, from everyone. Uh, next slide, please. So our live streams on YouTube have received more than 3,000 views. So the, these statistics are from yesterday. So today's statistics are not uh, uh, some yet. But uh, up to yesterday, October 21st, we had already 3,000 views. And that's some to over almost 8,000, uh, 1,000 watch time hours on YouTube. And we had 130 subscribers to our YouTube channel. And we started from, from zero last week. So that's, that's, that's nice. Uh, so next slide, please. So our shared Discord server with uh, SP Games and SVR was our main uh, communication uh, tool this year. We had a lot of participants. So 194 participants from Sibigarapi used our Discord channel. And over 500 participants from the three events also interacted uh, using Discord. Uh, next slide. So a, a brief summary of uh, our technical tracks. Uh, the main conference track had 51 papers accepted from 112 submissions. Our computer and graphics journal track had uh, eight papers accepted from 33 submissions. Uh, the GRSL journal track had three papers accepted from seven submissions. And on the workshops, uh, WTD, workshops of thesis and dissertations, we have 21 accepted works, 11 PhDs, 10 uh, masters from 22 submissions. The workshop of undergraduate works had 10 accepted works from 14 submissions. The workshop of uh, uh, works in progress had eight, eight accepted works from 12 submissions. The workshop of industry applications had one accepted and presented work from three submissions. And the, the workshop on visualization had seven lab presentations. And we also, we also had four tutorials, which we forgot to, to include here. So we also had four tutorials submitted and accepted. Uh, next slide, please. So now we'll start thanking everyone that helped us in, in, in making this year's event a reality. First, I wish to thank all of our keynote speakers, which we shared some of the keynotes with the other events, SP Games and SVR. I will also wish to thank the, the, the invited talks on our workshops. Uh, next slide, please. 
uh, we couldn't, you know, end the event without thanking all of our chairs that volunteered time to make this youth event a reality. So I will start by thanking our program chairs, Afonso Paiva, Davi Menotti, Gladbin Baranowski, and Hugo Proença. Uh, Afonso and Vladimir also were the guest editors for the Cupid and Graphics track, in addition to the main track. I also thank the editors for the Geoscience and Remote Sensing Letters track, Gilson Costa, Jocelyn Chanusso, Keller Nogueira, and Wallace Kazaka. Uh, our tutorial chairs, Leandro Fernandes and Sandra Avila. And uh, Marcelo will thank all of our workshop chairs now. You're, you're on mute. I think you're on mute, Marcelo. Sorry. Uh, so our thematic workshop chairs, Emanuele Santos from Federal do Ceará and William Schwartz from Federal de Minas. Workshop of thesis and dissertations, Antonio Apolinário Jr. from Federal da Bahia and João Paulo Papa from UNESP. Our workshop of undergraduate work, professors Paulo Pagliosa from Federal de Mato Grosso do Sul and Thiago dos Santos from Federal do Espírito Santo. Our workshop of work in progress, Professor Asla from Fundação Getúlio Vargas and Professor Thiago Silveira from Federal do Rio Grande do Sul. And finally, the workshop of industry applications. Uh, I cannot read here. <laughs> there is a a banner on top of the slide. It's... Okay, Emilio Vital, sorry, Emilio Vital from IBM and Moacir Ponte from USP. And also our session chairs. Uh, thank you for your work, uh, helping us with uh, the program and and with the technical sessions. Also, uh, we'd like to say a few words to our, our volunteers. Uh, uh, City Grap and these three conferences need a lot of hands. And uh, we would like to thank everyone, uh, the program committee and the reviewers, all the authors, the attendees, and also the special interest group on graphic and image processing from SBC with their uh, wise uh, advice for, for us during the conference. Yes. So and, next slide. Um, yeah. And we also have a special thank you to the CEPUC staff, which helped everyone on the backstage uh, to make everything run smoothly on YouTube. So thank you, every one of you, uh, to, to make everything go perfect in, in Sibirapi this, this year. And so, yes. So a round of applause to, to everyone that made Sibirapi possible this year. Uh, Next slide, please. So we also wish to thank our sponsors and partners. So we thank the uh, the Institute of Informatics of the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul and the uh, SBC for, for supporting us all the way. We thank our sponsors, uh, Poatec Academy, Fapergs, and CNPq. And we also mentioned that Sibigrapi uh, is held in cooperation with ACM Seagraph. Next slide. So we now have an invitation for next year's event with Professor uh, Alexandre Falcão and Luis Gonçalves. Uh, okay, so uh, I first would like to congratulate uh, Eduardo Gastal and, and Marcelo Volta for the excellent organization of Cibigrapi 2021. Uh, thank the uh, invited speakers, authors, uh, I mean, all participants for the success of this event. Thanks the, uh, also congratulate the shares uh, of the various tracks for the quality uh, of the accepted works. And, and also, uh, I'd like to announce that CB Grappi 2022 Will be uh, will be held in Natal, uh, Rio Grande do Norte, and I hope to meet you all there. So I really would like to close this with uh, a good evening and very good weekend. Wish of the very good weekend for to everyone, and I hope to see you all in Natal.
So I'll see you next year.